Question 17. Two towns, A and B are 400 kilometers apart. A motorcyclist traveling at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour left A for town B at 1.20 p.m. A matatu traveling at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour also left town A for B at 2 p.m. A. Calculate the 1. Distance covered by the motorcyclist by 2 p.m. So how do we get distance? Begin from there. Distance is obtained by taking the speed multiply by the time taken. In this case, you're looking at the motorcyclist. Uh, what is the speed of the motorcyclist? It is 60 kilometers per hour. Then what about time? Which time are we considering? It left A at 1.20 p.m. We are required to get the distance by 2 p.m. So time will be given by this difference. The difference from 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is the same as 14.00 hours. And 1.20 p.m. is 13.20 13, hours. So the difference here is 40 minutes. So therefore, you're required to get the distance covered by the motorcyclist from 1.20 p.m. to 2 p.m., which is 40 minutes. So we multiply by 40 minutes. We can't work with minutes and hours. So we have to convert 40 minutes to hours by dividing it by 60. So this will give hours. So this is equivalent to 60 kilometers per hour multiply by two thirds 40 over 60 is two thirds of an hour and when you work out these you get 40 kilometers that is the distance part two the distance from town a in kilometers where the matatu caught up with the motorcyclist distance from town a uh, where the matatu caught up with the motorcyclist so we've just uh, noted from the statement that both the motorcyclist the matatu are moving towards the same direction they are moving from a so let me draw so that is uh the two of them so this one the first one is the motorcyclist then this one is the matatu this is uh, a this is the destination which is b by the time the matatu was beginning the journey because it left uh, a for B at 2 p.m. The motorcyclist had already covered a distance because the motorcyclist was had begun the journey at 1.20 p.m. And we have noted that distance is 40 kilometers. So therefore the distance between the two by 2 p.m. because at p.m. that is when the matatu was beginning the journey is 40 kilometers. So that is the distance between them. That is the first thing we need to first uh, understand. Relative distance that is the distance between the motorcyclist and the matatu by 2 p.m is 40 kilometers uh, we need to find the time taken to catch up the time taken to catch up and how do we get time this time will help us to get the distance time is given by distance divided by speed we already have the distance is 40 kilometers the distance between them and now what about the speed? The two of them are traveling in the same direction, that is from A. So we need to get a relative speed. And to do that, because they are moving towards the same direction, we shall get the difference of their speeds. The speed of the matatu, which is 80 kilometers per hour, subtract speed of the motorcyclist, which is 60 kilometers per hour. And this will give the relative speed as 20 kilometers per hour. Now we have what we require to get time taken to catch up. So time to catch up will be given by relative distance, that is distance between them by 2 p.m., which is 40 kilometers, divided by relative speed, which is 20 kilometers per hour. And this will give two hours. So two hours is the time taken to catch up. The question is distance from town A. In kilometers where the matatu caught up with the motorcyclist distance from a so for that there are two ways you can get that you can decide to use the motor cycle or the matatu to get the distance from a if we decide to use the motor cycle uh, to get distance distance from a so distance is given by speed times time so the speed of the motorcycle is 60 kilometers per hour times time taken to catch up which will be two hours 
this will give 120 kilometers but what we have already obtained as 120 kilometers is not the distance from a it is the distance from this point where the motorcyclist had, had already covered 40 kilometers so let's assume that this is uh, the point of the two of them meeting so the distance we have obtained from this point uh, is this uh, 120 kilometers that is the distance you have so from where the 40 kilometers was covered so that is the distance we have but if you want to get the whole distance from a we have to add 40 plus 120 so we have to add 40 kilometers that is the distance covered uh, in two thirds of an hour as we noted in part a so this will give 160 kilometers. That is the first way. The second way is when we decide to use the Matatu from A. So the Matatu had not covered any distance. So we'll go directly and we get speed times time. And this will give the speed of um, moving at a higher speed was 80 kilometers per hour. Then time taken to catch up was two hours. So this one will still give you 160 kilometers. So the same answer. So that is the distance from town A. Part 3, the time when the Matatu caught up with the motorcyclist. Time when the Matatu caught up with the motorcyclist. So the Matatu, the Matatu began the journey at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Then the time taken to catch up is 2 hours. So we just need to add 2 hours. And this will give 4 p.m. Or you can give it as 16.00 hours. That is the time when the Matatu caught up with the motorcyclist. Part B, a lorry traveling at an average speed of 40 km per hour left town B or town A at 2 p.m. Determine the time when the lorry and the Matatu met. So now we have a lorry. Let me just draw these. So that is, sorry. So draw these because now they are moving in opposite direction. So one is for the Matatu. Matatu was moving. The first one here is uh, this one is the Matatu moving from A to B. This is A, this is B. Then the lorry left town B to A. So it is moving in that direction at 2 p.m. And then Matatu, we've noted in first part there, uh, the first part, uh, the Matatu left at 2 p.m. So they, they left at the same time. So it left at 2 p.m. As well. So determine the time when the lorry and the matatu met. How do we get these? Uh, to get the time, we need to get the distance divided by the speed. Which distance do we consider? The distance between the matatu and the lorry, the lorry is here, is 400 kilometers. So that is distance, 400 kilometers, the distance between them. Then for the speed, uh, in order to get the time taken to catch up, we're going to use the relative speed. They are moving towards each other. Okay, They are moving towards each other in opposite direction, that is. So how do we get the, uh, the relative speed in such a case? By simply adding the two speeds. This is quite different from the first part. Uh, from part, part two, when you're getting the relative speed, we subtracted. Why? Because they were moving in the same direction. When they are moving in the same direction, you subtract the speeds. But if they are moving in the opposite direction or towards each other, you add. So we'll take the speed of the Matatu, which is 80 kilometers per hour, plus uh, the speed of Lori, which is 40 kilometers per hour, like that. So this will give 400 kilometers divided by... 120 kilometers per hour that is 80 plus 40 and when you work out this this will give a 40 divided by 12 this will give three and a third hours or simply three hours and a third of an hour is 20 minutes so that is the time taken for them to meet. The question is determine the time when they met. To get the time since they had already uh, they had started the same at the same time 2 p.m. Both of them started traveling at 2 p.m. So time taken to meet is already there 3 hours 20 minutes so you just take 2 p.m. plus time taken to meet which is um, 3 hours and 20 minutes. Here 
whichever you use will use the lorry matter is still okay so this will give 5:20 pm or 17:20 hours that is the time when the lorry and the matter to met 